श्रीमते रामानुजाय नमः a few years ago the night before diwali i was doing some last minute shopping for friends and family when i was struck by a very odd thought which is why do we have an abhyanga snana on the morning of diwali so in the past few years i've been doing some research studying the text and trying to find out the references for diwali for i know one thing very well that our ancestors would have thought through many important aspects and created these festivals for us to elevate our lives and to make our lives better one of the important references for the celebration of diwali comes from the padma puranam in which lord shiva gives a discourse to his son kartikeya on the importance of diwali and how to celebrate this festival over 5 days the first important point to know is that diwali is celebrated in the month of kartika which lord shiva tells his son is a very very dear month to lord mahavishnu and is sanctified by lord mahavishnu Now there are two important activities to be done in this month of Kartika to acquire great religious merit for Punya. One is lighting of lamps, and two is snana, particularly in holy rivers and in Theta Shetra. In this Kartika Masa, in the dark fortnight on Naraka Chaturdashi day, Goddess Mahalakshmi resides in oil, and the Ganga sanctifies the waters across Bharat Vasha. Therefore, on this morning of Naraka Chaturdashi, when we take an oil bath, it also gives us. good health long life and prosperity and that's why it's celebrated across india as ganga snan or angol